All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two exciting title bouts left for you this evening. Folks, our next bout is in our middleweight combat USA title division. Whisper Goodman versus Gerald Mearshart. It's just, a, it's just another fight. You know, it doesn't come with a title. He's the defending champ, he has a label, but there's no pressure. I am better than Jeremy Shirt because I'm just more rounded. He just ain't ready. I'm going to apply my pressure and he got to make a mistake. He's the defending champ, but there will be a new champ in the building. All right, folks, next up, making his way to the Combat USA Championship cage. Whisper, the Gorilla Goodman, former Green Bay Packer. This guy is athletic, is athletic comes, and he is here to fight going against another former Combat USA champion, someone you also got a chance to train with, Sean, and Gerald Mearshart. What is Whisper's conditioning going to have to be to face someone with all, with all the tools on his belt like Gerald Mearshart? Well, you know, you see a guy like Whisper Goodman, it's... You know, we've been seeing more of these athletes from other sports cross train and get involved in our sport. You know, even so, as, as say Herschel Walker from, from pro football. And really what they do bring to the table is just that, that the conditioning that these other athlete, athletic sports have, the strength and the athleticism that it takes to be a champion. Now, where they lack is the years of experience in throwing punches and wrestling and these sorts of things. However, Whisper's been around, he's wrestled, he's doing punches and kicks. This is just a great matchup, and the fact that he was a Green Bay backer just adds to it. Well, and this fight chalks up experience. Uh, something that maybe our two previous fights didn't have, these guys are both very experienced fighters who've been around the game for a while. Whisper's fought some of the top competition around the world has put together 17 victories in his career. He's got 27 fights overall, where Gerald Mearshart in 18 bouts has 14 victories, and this guy is a submission machine. 11 of his bouts ending by way of submission, including last year's title bout versus another great up and comer, someone who just signed with Bellator and Sam Alvey. So this fight has all the potential of fight of the night here, even though everybody's waiting for our main event. This fight can sneak in and take best fight of the night here. Absolutely, and really, it's been some great fights tonight. This one's one of those ones I think the fans can just sit back and have a whole lot of fun watching. Now, Whisper Goodman fought Will Dickey, who we saw earlier this evening in his last fight. That fight had a little bit of a controversial end, some points being taken away. I think everybody in the stadium wanted it to go another two or three rounds because they just felt it wasn't finished but he's here he's ready to go and he's gonna fight this man the returning middleweight champion the machine gerald mearsher whisper you know i'm gonna beat you down Come on, son, I got ninja kicks. I can kick him in the dome piece if I want. I can punch him in the face. I can take him down. I can twist him up like a pretzel. I got every facet of the game. I'm gonna put my hands on him. I can still choke him out. I can punch him in the face, make him go to sleep that way. I can slice him open with elbows, anything. Like I said, someone's ass will get whooped. Now, Sean, I said it last time, and I'm gonna say it again. I am one of the lucky witnesses to Gerald's, the, the evolution of Gerald Mearshart. I was there for his first ever fight after only a month of training in Strasser's Freestyle Combat. And then now to look at him, a returning champion, 18 fights under his belt. He went from a scrawny kid being brought in to lose fights to now the champion that everybody fears. I mean, I, I just can't believe the process it took for this kid to become the champion that he is now. Yeah, you know what I'm I'm just really happy to see this kid, you know, at, at such a stage in the game, having the confidence that he has, you know, and being 
as, as versatile at everything that he is. You know, he's definitely an up and comer, but in Combat USA, he's, he's their champ. You know, he's coming in, he's not ducking guys, he's fighting top level athletes. And Whisper's just one of those guys. And you know what a lot of people don't make a big deal out of, but also don't realize is Gerald started his career at 170 pounds, and to fight in this tournament last year, moved up to 85 and won the tournament, and now is, is, is defending his title here at 85 again when he's naturally a welterweight. So there and again, you're fighting bigger fighters, sometimes stronger fighters, but you know what, as it shows with Gerald, you know, that doesn't always mean that they're the better fighter. Well, that's just it, and I think his jiu-jitsu skills make up for the lack of size. I, I am very interested in this fight because Whisper Goodman is such a great athlete, though. Maybe that 185 isn't so smart to move up to when you're not naturally in that weight position. And if I'm in Whisper's corner and, and I'm thinking of the last fight he had here at Combat USA, the one, the one thing I want is him to engage. All right, folks. Here we go, this is our Tale to Tape, brought to you by Tap Out Research and Development. Coming in at six foot, Gerald Mearshart, 185 pound division, 22 years young, 72 intrigued. He's a freestyle fighter from Racine, Wisconsin, fighting the Gorilla Whisper Goodman, six foot one, 185 pounds, 33 years of age, 75 intrigued, United Martial Arts, ground and pound is his style. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening, and it's brought to you by 4-Ounce Fight Gear and GoFightLive.tv, GFL.tv. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout features three rounds in the Combat USA Championship Middleweight Division. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Miami, Florida, and is a ground and pound specialist who's put together 17 victories with 10 defeats. Seven of those victories come by way of knockout. He represents Unified Martial Arts, stands in at six foot one inches tall, and he weighed in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Whisper, the Gorilla! His opponent is the man standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. He is the returning, the defending, the undisputed Combat USA 2010 middleweight champion. He stands in at six feet tall. He went in at 184 pounds. This freestyle fighter in 18 bouts has 14 victories. 11 of those victories come by way of submission. He hails from Racine, Wisconsin and represents Aguilar Combative Systems, the machine, Gerald Mishart. Folks, Chris Garrity here once again. Sean Tompkins, this fight has the makings of fight of the night. We've said it before, this one could be explosive. Here we go, folks. Otto Torriero about to get us started for our middleweight championship. Round number one, the machine versus the gorilla. Gerald with a big overhand left to open the fight. Definitely wants to test Whisper's chin early here. I'm really impressed with the way Whisper moves. Very late on his feet for a 185er. Has good control of his feet, good positioning, and he's moving nice and light. Looks like he's, he's setting up his shots. Gerald might be the one that's kind of ready to jump in and jump out here. Gerald tries another looping left hand. You think he's gonna wanna start setting that up with some kind of jab at some point. And there's Whisper rushing with that wow. athletic ability. Picks Gerald up like a rag doll and tosses him on his back. Again, like we said earlier, Chris, I think the difference in this fight for Gerald might be the fact that, you know, Whisper really truly is a 185 pound fighter. 
comfortable at that weight, athletic at it, and uh, I think most importantly, he's going to be really strong at 185. And here's one thing we've seen uh, out of Gerald Mearshart in this Combat USA tournament and last year's tournament. The guy is sneaky off of his back, and you saw it right there. Gets up from the bigger, stronger fighter. Uh-oh, Whisper's got his back. Looks like he's sinking in a rear naked choke. We'll see how well Gerald can defend. That, arm that is looks like an under the chin. and tight. Gerald doing a good job at least staying awake at this point. Whisper squeezing it pretty tight. This one coming over. It's wow. awesome. We there have we go. a new middleweight champion. Whisper just takes all the critics and tells them to sit down. He just won the fight. He Beat wasn't supposed to win. Game. Beat at his own game. Big, big deal. Whisper, the Gorilla Goodman, is the new Combat USA middleweight champion with a rear naked choke victory early, early, early in the first round here for Combat USA. And Gerald just looks defeated, yeah. beat up, not sure what just happened. It was so fast, so quick. Gerald looked like he was getting up out of that that, that top control whisper hat, and look, and there it is, sunk in in the replay there. Nothing Gerald could do about it. That rear naked choke was tight, and like we said, a big, strong fighter like Whisper Goodman, you're not getting that, you're not getting that arm out no, from under No, it's you. a tough division to have to fight strength with a guy like him. Wow, folks, well, we've got now two new champions here for Combat USA. There's definitely gonna be a third one when we move on to our main event, but first, I'm gonna head up into the cage we're going to talk to your new champion, and I'll give you the official winner's announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes at 1 minute 28 seconds of round number one for your winner by Rear Naked Show and the new 2011 Combat USA State Champion Whisper, the Gorilla Goodman. Whisper. Great, great job in your fight tonight. Coming in, did you feel like the underdog everybody had you at? Because you sure didn't fight like it. You know, I was the underdog, you know. He earned that he was last year defending champ, but I was the underdog. Now, what was your game plan coming in? We saw you stand with him for a little bit and then quick shoot for that takedown and dump him right on his back. Was that something you had planned all along? No, you know. Just gotta get in the way of taking me, you know. Everybody think I'm a stand-up fighter, but you know, I'm pretty much well-rounded. Well, congratulations, Whisper, you're the new champ. Now you're gonna move on to fight the Illinois champion coming up later on this summer. Do you have any words of warning for whoever comes out of that middleweight division in Illinois? Hey, you know, just like the um, previous champ, you know. He earned that right, but you know, there's a new champion in the building. Hey, folks, we have a new champion here at Combat USA. Hey, I'd just like to say um, thanks to all my fans coming out. Thanks to my um, sponsors, Tropical Smoothies, Strong Pair Factor. You know, we, he did look out for me wherever he had. He did really take good care of me. So I appreciate it. Uh Whisper Goodman, ladies and gentlemen, your new 2011 middleweight champion.